Hello and welcome to the first part of three of this tutorial on how to bring in information from places like a database into an edge animation. We're going to start off here as always. We're going to go ahead and start a new page. Um, I'll make this 1280. I normally do. That's probably why. First thing I always like to do obviously is to save the page. In this case I'm going to call this sinlasso.html. We're building this basically as if this was a shopping cart. So the first page here, we're going to have some categories that you would click on to take you to a page that listed all the categories. So real quickly here, we're just going to create two quick buttons. These would be our category buttons. Obviously, they look a lot better and everything else if it were live and we're just going to give this one a name let's say candy everybody likes candy right of course you do maybe you don't okay whoops go ahead and make that a little bit bigger now the first important part here is to name our rectangle and we're going to call this one button because we need to know that in order to add an action to it. We're going to come up here and let's, whoops, let's create a new button. And it doesn't have to be the same size or anything at all. It does have to have a name here, so we will call this one button 2. And again, we will add some text to this, and we're going to call this one jewelry. Okay, I'll move this over here. And if I had been smart, of course, I probably just could have gone in and duplicated that first button. But such is such. Now, we're going to go in and we're going to add the code and add an action to button. And it's going to be a click action so that we can click to get to the products page. The code is going to be pretty self-explanatory. Again, this is a categories page, so you could have 5, 10, 20 different categories that a visitor would click on to get a more detailed information of the products. In this case, we set a variable, sub submit button, to this button right here. And we submit, or we set a variable called cat. And this happens to be a category ID in the database. And we pull up a location. This location will be the page that actually pulls our database information. And we set the link to this page. And we have the variable cat, which would actually be 65 here. It's much better to write this, especially if you have several categories. Then you just change the number up here. From here, we come down to the submit button click. And we pull this email info function which I'll have to admit, I think that was named straight out of laziness from another file. I believe you can name it anything you want, though. So we would have that one. We come up to the second button now. Again, create a click event. And here, we are actually going to add almost the exact same code. The only difference is we're going to change this from button to button 2 so that it refers to that click and that button on the page. The category, we're going to change the category so that it pulls up a different category from the database. Since we're using a variable for this, all this other code stays the same. We're calling a variable here so we don't have to change that. We're going to the same page, calling the same submit button function and information. That's all we have right there. We have just very quickly created two buttons in an animation that when clicked will go to another page, grab the information from the database, save it into what's called a JSON file, and then open up the other animation which will read that file and show all your product info. 